Well, What's your favorite thing about Singapore? I think it sings a pretty good. I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I've been out of the house. The world is huge and full of unique cuisine, but we don't have to travel to experience it for ourselves. Today, we're taking a trip of the tongue out to Singapore, where KFC has a sandwich called the Mac and Cheese Zinger. Mmm! It's time for... So, so far, so, so good. good. Emily, when I say Mac and Cheese Zinger, what do you think of? Like a, a Twinkie. Why? A Zinger, isn't that like those oh, little cakes? Oh, a little snack cake, <laughs> that's so stupid. So the yeah. Mac and Cheese Zinger, it was a fried chicken sandwich, except the buns, instead of normal bread, was macaroni rounds that had been deep fried. Oh, that's great. So we gotta do that. These very United States of America, we have gotten the macaroni, we have gotten the chicken, we've gotten the lettuce, but we still need to make the cheese sauce, the turkey bacon, and the mac and cheese buns. Are we gonna do that in America as well? I booked a flight to Singapore. International travel, so cheap. Why is that? John Masak. We have a brick of cheese there. I'm gonna start pointing with a spoon. I need you to grate about a quarter of that brick into there. And then we're gonna mix the cheddar cheese with the macaroni. That's gonna give it just some extra cheese binder for when okay. we eventually freeze and fry these buns. While you do that, I'm not gonna do much. Okay. I'm kinda just gonna stand. Are we gonna address Aunt Pam? Oh yeah, so this is a can of food lube. It's great, technically all, all lube is food lube if you really try hard enough. But all I'm gonna do is grease down the inside of the ring mold because we're gonna pack the macaroni into the ring mold and then remove it and then the lube's gonna make it go Wow. Yeah. That's the, great. The beauty of cooking. You look good, Pam. It's good to see you too. Are you gonna grate the cheese in that bowl? Oh! I, I didn't know if that was like a... Do you do it like this or do you do it like this? I like to brace the bowl Wait. against my kind of pelvis. Yeah, do a pelvic brace with the bowl. Yeah, there you go. Keep the elbow tight. Ow. Yeah, yeah, no, it's hurting, you're doing it right. But flip it the other way so you're getting like, you know, more cheese. Yeah, that's great, but do it like more better. Drive, drive your elbow down, drive your elbow down. I've talked to we'll another switch. human in six months and now you're gonna, I'm just very sensitive. I'm sorry, we're all so soft Very right sensitive now. and soft now. We're so now. sensitive here, I'm just gonna lube up our ring. There it is, fast, quick strokes. Yeah, that's good. I don't like that. That's, now it's weird. Daddy, it's am weird. I doing good job, Daddy? I especially don't like that. Oh, I don't Daddy. like that. Can we just start over? I do good job for Daddy. <laughs> Can I go home? <laughs> I don't like this. We haven't even drank. I keep some gin in the microwave. Ew. Hold on. You put that in the freezer. No, 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 no. You're going to want to drink the gin warm. No. You've just been, that's been in here the whole we time? We need our power juice. Aw. We need well, our we power juice. We can't drink from the Daddy's cup. Because times are different. Water vault. Oh, okay. Now it's Daddy's fountain. I don't see how gin oh. ties into this. I really think that it would have been good to have some it good doesn't. Kentucky It's tradition. Bourbon. It's good Kentucky gin. There it is, there it is. That's great. You're gonna spill some gin into the cheese. Now we're on track. <laughs> now we're on track to make the mac and cheese zinger. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this cheese in with the I macaroni. think that's a, that's dang, a, look at all that. Cheese. See, I'm not now I'm just, all bad at this. What do you do with this sweaty cheese? Eat man? it. I think I'm gonna save room for this. That makes sense, this is probably a little bit better. Yeah. All right, that's a good amount of cheese. So we're kind of just gonna mash the cheese into the sauce and create a kind of like cheese macaroni paste dish. Obviously, we're still gonna get the whole noodles in there. So we got this all lubed up. So now, Emily, you're gonna take Thank the spoon. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> Thank you for your we service. We appreciate you. So you're gonna go ahead and spoon some of the macaroni into that. And then I'm gonna... Is that a sneeze? That was so cute. I'm sorry. Oh. Get out. <laughs> She had to sneeze into the mask too, isn't that sad? You almost thought to like sneeze into your elbow like that? Terrible idea. Children have thought that I'm dabbing and they'll see me and they'll be like, huh. That's a great- like, no! Maybe uh, that's where that came from. Could have been. Children lose respect for me immediately. Really? Yeah, because I, I have to come in being like the funny guy. You know, it's kind of the same thing in this office where it's like, oh, funny, funny Josh. And then I'm like, hey, I need you to do this. And they'll be like, no, you're the funny guy. I don't respect you. And then the child spits in my face. Hey, look at that. We got these little mac and cheese rings. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Can I make one? Mm, I guess. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. All right. That's a cute, that's a thick boy. That's a little <laughs> thick. I'm gonna just, just kind of do this with a little bit. Oh, no. Oh. There we go. Fixed it. There we go. That's what we're looking for. This is from KFC Singapore. Mm. I don't know if you know this, but fried mac and cheese is not typically indigenous to the, the region. I think they did this because they were like, what's the most American thing we can think of? Mm -hmm. Right, like this is what they think we're doing. And I love that. I feel like that's the whole basis for your show as well, isn't it? Yeah, we try and take Americanism and then ramp it up to roughly 15 and a half. Yeah. And we get deep fried mac and cheese. We're the same. Okay, now we gotta put this in the freezer. Okay, right now we gotta make the cheese sauce and we gotta make 
the turkey bacon. Turkey bacon, a, a lot of people have various opinions on it. I don't mind it. I'm fine with it. I like these like scientifically monstrous foods where they blended up a whole turkey and then like put chemicals in it till it tasted like pig parts. But what's it made out of? Presumably turkey. Or the turkey bacon is a separate animal, like a turkey vulture is an animal. I don't know. Vulture bacon? Vulture bacon would be good. Let's do that. We need more exotic animals in our lives. It's so true. I'm just gonna take turkey bacon and I'm just gonna put it in a cold pan with a little bit of oil that's gonna heat it up gradually. Normally you do that with real bacon that has fat to render and that's why you do that so the fat slowly renders out. Uh -huh. This doesn't have any of that, but we'll figure it out. All we're trying to do is cook this and get it a little bit crispy and I have a bacon weight, similar to a shaken weight. This is a bacon weight. Okay. So right now we got a big old brick of Velveeta. <laughs> Feel it, just squish the Velveeta. Uh. Oh, it's it's like a baby nicest. leg of cheese. <laughs> I thought you were just saying just a baby leg. How many baby legs are you squeezing? Not recently, but yeah. you know. It's gotta be a baby you know. Or at least a baby you've seen before. Yeah. Can you open this? Or do you think you just squeeze it and it'll come out? No, no, no. Josh, I just did my face this morning for the first time in six months. Like anyone could tell. Uh, I know. That was a joke. I'm I've been lashing anything. out a lot during quarantine. I've been lashing out a lot. Maybe you should just like, tell this baby how disappointing it is. You're a disappointment. You always ask me if I'm still watching The Office. Of course I'm still <laughs> watching The Office, Netflix. <laughs> what else would I be doing? What else should I be doing? This is also me in my pants at the moment. <laughs> I feel that. I'm uncontrollably getting weight, but I'm here Ooh, for it. So <laughs> many <laughs> stretch marks. Seriously, how do we get it Can open? I just have some scissors? Like, I don't wanna. Oh, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Take a knife. Take a knife. Take a knife. Is this the Rambo knife with yeah, the? Yeah, it steals souls in the hilt of it. Okay. Yeah, 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 big time. All right, so we got the bacon cooking. And so now I'm gonna take a bacon weight. This is, uh, it's really just like a metal plate, but it's got a cute little cartoon pig on it. And it's meant to keep bacon flat. So we're just gonna let that go there. This is gonna really ensure that our bacon is crispy. We're getting all those edges pressed down to the pan. Look at that. Our beautiful son. His, his name, name is Reginald. Yerushalayim. Oh. I, we Yerushalayim. Agreed on, we agreed on a Jewish name. Oh, is Reginald not Jewish? Yeah, wait, do we? Yeah, they, sure. that baby's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it. With the Rambo knife too, nonetheless. Just uh, like, like half that. Parting is, so, oh my God, it's staying intact. It, there it is. I said half that. What's happening here? What? Really? We're not doing the whole thing? Do the whole thing. It's great. Do the whole thing. Do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. Like, what are, what are we going to do? We can't take it with us. That's really fun. All right, I'm going to dump in a bunch of cheddar batter. So we don't exactly know what is in this sauce because we've never eaten it. But if I know anything about cheese sauces used at fast food restaurants, it's really a bunch of like, cheese flavored chemicals and water and oil and various binders and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we could make like, you know, a tasty bechamel and add cheese to it. But instead, I want to see if we can throw a bunch of powders in a blender and then blend it up and hopefully that heats into a sauce. You know, you're the professional and I trust you very much. I'm a professional. <laughs> All right, so we want onion, garlic powder, paprika, and now I'm adding in milk powder because we're gonna add water to this to try and thin it out. And so I want milk powder what in there to this? essentially- Nido fortificata. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fortified milk powder, try it. If you pull up a bunch of spit in your mouth and then put the milk powder in there, it oh, turns gosh. into milk. It just it turns into milk. Try it. You know what it reminds me of? Huh. The smart food popcorn. It does, the white cheddar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's probably just a bunch of milk powder. Yeah. There. Now I know why it's so smart. We're just gonna pour a bunch of that in there and dump water in. And then we're just gonna let it rip. Okay. It looks like a cheese sauce. No. What? I think we made cheese sauce. It got everywhere but the apron. What the hell? Here, here, here try it. N okay. Oh. It's good, right? It's really good. Well, cheese sauce is done. Let's check on that bacon. The pan just never warmed. Yeah, bacon's not, uh, this just isn't uh, working. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna drop that bacon in the fryer. That bacon just never cooks. I'm putting it in the fryer. Yeah. It's gonna start exploding. This is how fast. a super yeah. villain's made. Yeah, yeah, this is, it's just gonna happen. Just chill. You're more afraid of the spattering bacon than it is you. Yeah, this bacon's pretty sweaty. That's the sweat. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, yeah, it got me in the face. What a beautiful face to really. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, what happened to I, <laughs> Well, I got a plan. I don't know if I've explained this plan on camera before, but I'm just gonna try and look consistently worse until 2021, then hit them hard with the glow up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. At this point, I don't feel like I have any control over anything except for just dumping Crayola on my head every morning. Yeah, but what you should do though is act like you have control over something. I'm just gonna stick to adult coloring books. It's an adult coloring book? No. I have um, cats with hats. Are those like dirty coloring books? I think it's just a coloring book, but it's hard. Well, it's not hard. It's not difficult. It's not it's, like, anyone can do it. Anyone can color. 18 and over. All right, so we're double judging this. So we're taking the frozen mac All and right. cheese discs, put them into flour, into egg wash, into panko, and then we're doing it again. Okay. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? <sighs> like the moon. 
No, like, I, just, <laughs> everyone gets one. All right, we're gonna drop that in there. Uh, no, what, like, uh, I wanna go to Iceland. Thank you, you so much for Iceland asking. Wanna, I, <laughs> so what I think we're gonna do is, uh, we got mac and cheese frying, right? Oh, that looks hey, so- Hey, Emily, well, what's your favorite thing about Singapore? I think it sings a pretty good. I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I've been out of the house, and I just really like. I mean, <laughs> it's I, so funny because I I'm actually sorry, do feel I'm that. I'm gonna be here, and I just really need to feel good right now. So please, if you could just be like support her, like lay off the whole. You try too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you try too hard. You okay? I'm fine. You do not yet yeah, rub rub the sequence. It'll make I'm it airing better. it out as hot. Yeah, under don't this. Be, do, We got fried mac and cheese coming up soon. We're all great. If I had a nickel for every time I got way too drunk to deep fry food, but deep fried it anyways, I'd have thirty five cents. You do the math kids and do it in the comments for below do it over zoom i hate zoom it stresses zoom me out i stopped showing up to any meetings i don't know if anyone noticed yeah there's something uh. weird about covid we're not i'm not to say COVID. What? something weird about these times we're in <laughs> i miss buses i feel that i miss just like being anywhere near people well we're doing it now and we still wish we were somewhere else and we're still miserable <laughs> So anyways, we got these mac and cheese buns fried. Now all we gotta do is we gotta put on a turkey bacon, which we've also fried. Put on a turkey. Did it. Nice. So we gotta take the mac and cheese buns, we gotta put the turkey bacon on, we gotta get some cheese sauce on, we gotta get some lettuce, and we gotta get some pre-fried chicken filet patties. Philly patties? Filet. Ah. Okay, then let's do that. Let us. So we got cheese sauce. Yeah, try that. Thank you, Papa. Drink, my daughter, drink from the spring of Thank cheese. Thank you, Papa. So we're gonna take some chicken. We're gonna put it on top of the cheese sauce real fast. No, son of a, no! So we're gonna take some lettuce and we're gonna put it on top of the chicken. Hey, Josh. Hi, what's up? Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the typical way they do it at KFC in Singapore is they take the cheese and they smear it on the lettuce. Multiple hands have to touch it. That's how it warms up the cheese to get into the lettuce sweat. And then you're gonna let that kind of drip down the, and just mash it up a little bit. But then you gotta get the chicken, a little pre-cheese. This is what they call a pre-cheese chicken in Singapore. Oh yeah. And we're gonna put that on top of the lettuce, but then the bacon. The turkey bacon, unclear why, is there. Everybody's gonna go ahead and kind of, here, eat that, it's gross. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it tastes bad. They're whispering over there, I think we're in trouble. What do they want? Stop! What do we do oh, now? We can whisper about them, we can whisper about them. Ryan's a homeowner. I think you need to yeah, make sure to pronounce. Ryan has a lovely home. He has a lovely home? Yeah, his wife Jack is real chill. Is it ranch style? All right, so we squirted all the cheese on top in traditional Singaporean fashion, and then now we just, crown the mac and cheese bun on there, and that's it. We got our Singaporean KFC mac and cheese zinger, but there's only one thing to do. Are you ready for a one-way trip to Singapore? Because we're not coming back. Uh, I feel like I have to say yes. You do. Okay. All right, let's do it. You go that way, I'll go this way. Oh, okay. Singapore is that, Singapore Bye. is both ways. Goodbye. So we have the mac and cheese zingers in front of us. Also, we have my favorite sides from KFC, Diet Coke and a cup of gravy. Hold up, so gravy is a side? Yeah, you don't need the potatoes with it. I thought it was more of a sauce. Nah. All right, all right, pick up your zinger. Look at this. This is hefty and the texture on it, feeling the bounce from the macaroni when it you flush the sandwich. It is bouncy, it's definitely the, wow. Give it a little dip in the gravy. <laughs> and I, I think we just eat it now. All right, okay. What? Mm, no. <laughs> the thing that hits you is the authentic Singaporean flavor. <laughs> right off the bat, you taste the iceberg. Somehow the strongest flavor for me is iceberg lettuce because there are so few other ingredients like it in this sandwich that it just pops and all I'm getting is sweaty iceberg. The panko is really good actually. The mac and cheese buns, they're well executed. The cheese is melty in there. Yep. Keep dipping it in gravy. God, I, I love that. how many points on Weight Watchers this is. Try it, plug it in. Oprah's gonna come over and slap me in the face. <laughs> All right, let's get down to brass tacks. This only exists in Singapore, does not exist in America, despite being the most American thing I have literally ever seen. Right. Does America need to bring the mac and cheese zinger to America? I think need is a really strong word. No one needs this, to be clear. Uh, yeah, I think that want, Oh yeah, yeah, I want You're it. here for it, you want this in America. Yeah, why not? I'm a no. I would rather just have fried chicken with mac and cheese. I think by frying it all together and putting the sweaty iceberg lettuce in it, I think you have made a worse product. Am I gonna eat all of this? Sure. Am I gonna polish off that bottle of gin that I have warmed in the oven? Of course. Oh, you bet. I'm gonna sip down all this cold gravy, but I would just rather have them all separate. And if you think KFC should bring the mac and cheese thing into America, tweet at KFC under hashtag so far so good. Thank you so much for stopping by The Mythical Kitchen. We got new recipes for you every week, and we got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. 
Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. Stay tuned next time we take a trip of the tongue to the moon. Get as messy as you want in your kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towel. Available now at mythical.com.